What's up world, One Tech Traveler here. Today we are going to be talking about the Waterfield Designs Sutta Tech Sling that you see right here. It's been a really fun like day pack, lighter companion to take with you for your day trips, travels around and even just a lighter bag alternative when you want to take those tech essentials with you. It comes in two sizes. We are going to be looking at the larger of the two versions. I'm going to show you what it looks like inside, how you can pack it and overall just my final thoughts using this around my trips around Thailand, Vietnam and here in Korea. So stay tuned, like always you can find my full written review of the Waterfield Design Sutta Tech Sling on my website so check it out at onetechtraveler.com. Like always you're welcome to join Team KBA by subscribing to my channel. I think that does it for the intro, let's get started. So let's talk about the Sutter Tech Sling and give you a tour around the bag itself. Uh, this is already filled up to give you an idea of just how it looks like when I've packed my daily gear essentials when I'm using this bag. You can see from the side, it keeps a really nice slim profile, doesn't show a lot of that bulk, but it's definitely generous amounts for you to fit what you need very easily and has a multitude of options for you to store them. This is the large of the two versions. So the smaller one can hold 4.5 liters of space while the larger one is 6.5 liters. I also wanna show you the back really exciting there's so much good stuff going on with this bag and i've always been very impressed with waterfield's designs craftsmanship build and unique use of materials when they all blend together it really creates something very different on the back we can see the whole area it has a full mesh panel with nice thick padding to protect not only the inside also give you some comforts on your back and then allow more airflow and breathability for your back like say I've used it on my travels for a long time so you can see uh, I've got a lot of battle scars, a lot of distinctive patterns of how I've used this over time and it just gives it a lot of character. In terms of weight it's pretty fair for the dimensions of this bag which comes in at 36 centimeters long, 24 meters wide and is 7.5 centimeters deep. It actually extends a bit more than that since it's able to really flesh itself out both from the main compartment and the front compartment. The front features a nice leather that is a signature material used across Waterfield's designs range and the brown version comes paired with a wax canvas that is very robust, rugged and durable. Uh, alternatively, you can get this in a black same front material with the leather uh, but the sides are switched for the ballistic nylon uh, matched with like the Atlas Executive that I've used before and their tech folio. That, those are kind of the two material choices you'll find. But like I mentioned weight wise, this is fairly light and I think is reasonable. Uh, the smaller one of the two comes in at 560 grams whereas the larger one here is slightly more at 680 grams. So one of my favorite parts about the Suta Tech Sling is the front compartment where we have two zippers here and they both go down and that allows you to access from this side or access from this side. And I found I've used this pocket a lot um, when I want to access my daily reachables, whether that be your wallet, if you like to game on the go, Nintendo Switch, or just have the access to your notepad that is a bit too big for your back pocket. I have my Nintendo Switch. If I'm commuting on the train around Seoul, I can easily fit this in the front pocket. It's best positioned when it's upright that means that you can access it better from left or the right side. And on the other side, I have my power bank. Pretty much an essential for me as I'm always on the road, using my camera, my phone. It's pretty tall and now, which makes it absolutely perfect. Add one or two cables to get the things charged up. Then you've got all that you need on the fly. Now, if you're not packing the front too much, then you can actually find from the wax canvas, it can actually slide underneath the leather panel. So it does give it that more streamlined profile. If you are packing it, then that can like go a little bit wider, but that provides extra width if you need to carry that. This has 
a good amount of space and you can fit things here which aren't necessarily that thin. Um, but bear in mind that the main compartment does eat into that space. So the more tightly packed you have the main, then the more tightly packed the front compartment is. You'll be glad to know that both the main compartment and the zipper compartment the zip trap are reversed so it gives it a very clean profile you don't see the zipper tracks themselves all exposed it's actually enclosed and it's waterproof as well so if you find yourself caught out in some flash rain for a short period of time you can be rest assured that the water is not going to go through the zippers although of course the material itself is not waterproof but all of these round up to make a really robust highly rugged uh, sling that you can trust and throw anything at and it will do the job the main zippers are very wide you can see it spans like 75 percent of the side you can see it's very wide if i open it as far as possible we've got a very beautiful visible and vibrant gold inner lining with that like honeycomb hexagonal pattern it's the same in the tech folio and the atlas executive holder uh, that i reviewed previously and i'm glad that it's back here always makes the insides really pop out and see your items easily so this is the lap compartment and it is very well padded it has a nice inner felt lining and it's able to hold a pretty good size um, for now i have the surface go 10 inch tablet very slim very compact this will also fit in the smaller style version but if you're wondering you can also substitute that for a typical 13 inch laptop it also fits my surface book however that gets crazy tight it's actually better in the main compartment uh, but if you have a slimline a laptop i've got the lg gram here can fit in your macbook pro your macbook air and those are also going to fit in here so very impressive to pack something and that's thanks to the more rectangular design we can fold the extra material back so the zip is not going to touch it at any point but for my surface go super easy you don't want to pack this up too much but you can see it handles much more bulkier items uh, very well had my pair of noise cancelling headphones this is my favorite lark water bottle this is actually self-cleaning and self-purifying so check out my video on that but that's my current loadout we have a nice smaller pocket here that's been great for your wallet your wireless earbud charging case or even just my bellroy pocket notepad this is like an a6 size and also my flat folding surface arc touch mouse everything is super slick organized and i've just got a traditional pen and of course my surface pen when i'm drawing on the tablet itself and we also have this lanyard key tether when you're not using it that slides in nicely in this pocket compartment which is great however when you are tethering like a key or car key house key um, then that one i tend to slide into the main one just because they're not going to fit in here i don't want that scratching up against the rest of my stuff in the body so i tend to pack it here this one is super small unlikely that i want to be using this so i would have actually liked it if they turned this into just one but overall it's a very simple really nice setup it's got a very wide opening if you want to keep your items more discreet just open it like so i can put in a tech organizer for all of my cables and if i'm going to be shooting out and want an extra choice of lens i can slide my longer uh, 90mm 2.8 g sony lens uh, in there too and then once you are done we can close that up this is what it looks like across the body with the shoulder padding on the top very comfortable really nice and i've got it as a looser fit and you can see it hangs more of a cross body it provides that looser fit a more relaxed looser way of carrying your goods and you can easily see it really is a true one-handed system this is very smooth and i found it's the best execution and that's thanks to the really rugged cam buckle here even more if you're you know planning to go on a day hike and you want it closest to your body to give you that stabilization then i've got it like so 
just to give you an idea and you can see that really hugs towards the upper parts of your shoulder and chest um, but that's not going to go anywhere also breathable with that mesh ventilation even when you're carrying goods it feels comfortable it's not heavy and if you prefer on your left shoulder you can easily disconnect it uh, from this buckle and then put it onto the other side and then that's going to allow you to switch it onto the other shoulder and then of course like i mentioned while you are on the move and you want to grab something from the front compartment you can just loosen it up a bit and then swing it across and you can see it gives a side profile for me to just reach in with the zipper facing upright that allows us to really just dig in for what we want zipper up and then back again Okay, so that wraps up my final thoughts of the Waterfield Sutter Tech Sling. It's a very well-built, distinctive sling to take with you that allows you to pack plenty whilst having a very slick, adjustable shoulder strap. If you've seen my other bag videos, you would know that I reviewed several Waterfield design products and they always seem to amaze me. Uh, they also have the same signature style built, either using that ballistic nylon or the wax canvas and have very distinctive details that allow you to appreciate it as the days go on. This is probably one of the nicest experience of a sling format. For people who like the game, this is a great setup for your Nintendo Switch. You can also find Waterfield Design's separate Nintendo Switch designed bag, but if you're looking for something with multiple use cases, the Sutter Tech Sling is a great choice. We've seen that it can be very compact and flat packs in a luggage great if you want to bring it as an additional uh, carry pack on your travels. But you can also see it fills up nicely without showing a lot of that bulk. So that's all we've got time for. Thanks a lot for joining me, World. What is your favorite feature that you've seen in the Sutter Tech Sling? Let me know down in the comments below. If you have any questions about it, feel free to also drop them. But if you want to learn more, you can check out my full written review on my website at onetechtraveler.com. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, found it useful. And if you haven't yet, make sure you join Team KBA to see more awesome videos like this one. Thanks a lot, World. I'll see you in the next video, but until then, keep being awesome. Peace.